Parts of a flower Some plants reproduce using their parts like their roots, stems, and leaves. However, there are some plants which reproduce by accessory part the flower. Incomplete flower Incomplete flower has only one reproductive part either male or female. Complete parts of a flower A complete flower has the following parts receptacle, sepals, petals, stamens and pistils. Receptacle the receptacle is the enlarged upper end of a flower stalk which bears the flower or group of flowers. Sepals Sepals are modified leaves which enclose and protect the other parts of a flower when it is still a bud. When the flower blooms, the sepal supports the bottom of the flower. A group of sepals is called calyx. Petals Petals form the most obvious part of a flower. Most petals are brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. A group of petals is called corolla. Stamen. Stamen is the male part of a flower. It consists of the filament and the anther. Filament. The filament holds the anther in a position talon out to release the pollen. Anther. The anther consists of two lobes that contain pollen sacs. Pollen sacs have pollen grains that are released by the anther when they mature. Pistil. The pistil is the female part of a flower. It consists of a stigma, style, and ovary. Style. The style is a stalk that connects the stigma to the ovary. It is tall enough to trap pollen grains. Stigma. The stigma is a swollen structure at the end of the style. It receives the pollen grains. The mature stigma secretes a fluid that stimulates the pollen grains to germinate. Ovule Ovule is the organ that forms seeds of flowering plants. It is born in the ovary of flowers. Ovary Ovary is the enlarged basal portion of the pistil, the female organ of a flower. The ovary contains ovules, which developed into seeds upon fertilization. The ovary itself will mature into a fruit, either dry or fleshy, enclosing the seeds pollen tube the pollen tube is the tube through which sperm from the pollen reaches the egg cell and fertilizes the planto form seeds it transports sperm cells from the pollen grain from the stigma to the ovules at the base of the pistil pedicel the pedicels hold individual flowers in place but how they do that depends on the form of the inflorescence the function of pedicels is to expose flowers to the sun and wind and put them in a position so their aroma and color attracts pollinating insects more easily. Parts of a flower Petal Sepal Receptacle Ovule Pedicel Pollen tube Stamen Consist of anther and filament Pistil Consist of stigma, style and ovary Part of the flower and its function Receptacle supports the base of the flower. Sepals protect the flower when not yet blooming, also supports the base of the flower. Petals, its bright colors attracts pollinators. Filament holds the anther in a high position for release of pollen. Anther holds the pollen sacs. Pollen sacs connects and releases the pollen sacs. Style connects the stigma to the ovary also traps the pollen grains stigma structure which receives the pollen grains stimulates the pollen grain to germinate and reach the ovary ovary holds the egg cells which are to be fertilized by the sperm from the pollen grains let's practice direction label each part of the flower answer 